Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to another Hiker Place video. Today, we are on our main account and we are playing Voyage of the Four Seas. And as you can see, the Fog Island event has now begun. Now, we have never seen this event. This is something that was added just today. In fact, only about three minutes ago. So, we're going to go into it for the first time together. Um, there's a very good chance we don't, we don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, okay, things are already happening. It's already at 99.2%. So, there's already some progress on it. Let's... Okay, what's the fog pass? Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, the fog pass is a new currency by the looks of it. Uh, get mystic stones. You're going to get some other bits. I mean, it looks like a relatively cheap pass. And it's got its own set of missions. That is cool. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze twice in the space of one video. That is so not normal. Right, let's go in and do our first try of this. Um, choose a Chaos Ally in battle. All allies recover 10 rage per second. That's really powerful. Uh, with every one healer ally in battle, heal allies down 33%. Or when Sun God Luffy's in the battle, all allies gain 15% and pierce. If I had Luffy in the battle, this would be OP. I'm going to go with this one. Oh, wait. Sorry, this is... This is just an all-round thing. Okay, okay. Uh, what happens? Do I just have to attack Jinbei? Right, cool. Let's uh, let's pick our team. I'll just deploy my ship. Uh, in terms of tanks, we'll go one and two. We'll go one and two and one. So that's the team we're going to be rocking up with. I think that's the right call. Oh, we got to do multiple squads. Oh, that's interesting. You know what? Let's have squad one really powerful, and then we'll have squad two. I guess we'll do. Uh, we'll need a tank at, at the very minimum, so we'll go one. Uh, maybe that. Uh, in terms of just raw damage dealers, we could do that. I assume we can't pick the same ship. No, it'll take the ship away from the main crew, and I'd rather have the main lot as strong as possible. We are gonna have to slowly start building these three teams. It seems. Right, for the last one, let's go Katakuri, uh, because Katakuri, I do need to work on him, he's someone I really need to work on. Uh, let's throw Kuma and Kid, I love the idea of Law as well, and then we'll throw Kuzan as well as the last damage dealer, and let's just see how this works. So it does very much look like your main team is going to go first, which is absolutely fine. There is a good chance that we'll just do a ton of damage and potentially even, I'd say clear it, but I don't know what clearing it even means. Uh, we're not even on times four. Let's times four that. Uh, for those of you who haven't noticed, uh, I have actually changed um, my emulator. I am now on LD Player. We are affiliated with LD Player. So I will throw a link in the description below for those of you who want to also try and use LD Player. Um, if you do download LD Player from the link below, I will get a small commission. I think it's like a couple of cents. Uh, but, you know... End of the day, if 100 people download it, who knows? Maybe I'll make a couple of quid. So, win-win. But I have to also say, LD Player does feel smoother and looks a lot cleaner than Bluestacks. It's not as apparent on this game, or maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe you guys are seeing it. Um, but it is very, very apparent on games like Epic 7, where there is a bit more graphics to it. So I am low-key enjoying uh, the use of LD Player as well. So, like... Definitely go give it a try, guys. And, you know, if you do, download it from the link below. And it does support me. So that is a huge, huge, huge thank you. We are also going to be doing Reverse 199 uh, as a game at some point. Uh, probably over the weekend. I want to try and get some videos on it out. That's a game I'm going to be downloading and trying. Uh, happens to also be uh, not sponsored, but uh, part of the affiliate program. So, again, if you were to download reverse 199 and ld player that would also you know benefit me so why not it's a game we've been thinking about playing for about a week now and now this opportunity sort of come it makes no sense to like turn it down right uh but yeah dude this this looks kind of cool so it, it is just its own little thing i don't know how much damage we need to do to clear it uh i it does look like it's the entire server because i see people like jay um from the server that you know are launching attacks let's Let's come out of this and try to figure out what it is that we need to do. Alright, let's should we look at some details? 
So, firstly, Garp's done 83 million damage. Gion's done 32 million. Not bad. Uh, let's check squad 2. So, Edel did do 22 million. That's pretty solid. And lastly, we have this team. And look how much damage Katakuri is doing. Bearing in mind, this Katakuri has no gear on. Uh, the Fog Pass, of course, we're going to be, you know, doing a bunch of missions. How close is Jinbei to dying? He is a long way off dying. All right, you know what? Let me, let me entertain you. Um, no, let's just go into here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to equip him with some gear. It's nothing insane, just some minor gear. Uh, Merkmo, shall we try and go? Wait, that's not what I want. Uh, if I ch replace, see if I have a piece just available. It doesn't look like I do. Eva's holding on to this piece. Do I really want Eva on this piece? Hold up. Why aren't we using Eva in our team? What gear is Ivankov using at the moment? Um, give me a second as I try and find him. He's so far down these days. There we are. He is on Rainfall, Rainfall, Rainfall. This piece is extra on him. Hold up. Boys, we can do this. Um, let's do Replace and give him Eva's weapon. I know. But that gives him the attack buff, which is actually really good. We can also give him that. Now, all of a sudden, he's going to actually do some damage. <laughs> In terms of in fact, let's actually go through all the characters that we're using in this. For example, uh, you know what? No, it's going to be easier if I do it this way, isn't it? If we go into here and then go into challenge, I just want to see the team. So I know this team is fully built. Uh, Zoro, Enel, Yamato I know is built, Crocodile and Buggy. Do we really want Buggy? Is Buggy really our best choice on this? I wonder if we could throw in Eva for this team. Oh, actually, no. You know what? Do you know what? We throw in. Let us throw. Let's keep Buggy in, and I'll make sure we gear Buggy. Uh, so Buggy, Crocodile, Zoro need gearing for sure. And then for this team here, so over here we're gonna make some changes. We will take out. We will take out Law. Should we? No. We'll take out Kid, and we'll throw in Eva. Right. I like that. Now, let's let's have a look at what sort of gear we could throw onto the people that we are using. So, these guys are all in use. He's definitely got no gear on, so let's just auto-equip him. Uh, I don't think I have any spare runes. It turns out I do. That's fine. Should we throw a shepherd rune on him? He just heals the front too. That's fine. Um, let's replace this with, I don't know, one of the ones that aren't being worn. So, that will do for now. In fact, we could actually go grab a second, so we should. Uh, Alright, the feather ones are going to be alright. It's just an extra 4%, and I'm just going to forge his gear up quickly as well. Hopefully that will give us a little bit of a buff. Now, in terms of Katakuri, I'm just going to have another look at him. Oh wait, he's in the other section. Uh, Katakuri. Let's gear him up. So we do have two pieces there, and we've got... I mean, listen, that piece isn't even that important. I'm not too worried. <laughs> it's really the attack stat that I want to buff. Uh, but we're not going to go anything crazy on it. I don't I don't want to actually work work on him. Uh, but as long as he's got some form of gear on, right? And everyone else is pretty standard. Crocodile, I know, is not wearing anything. So again, we'll just chuck some form of gear on him. This is, this is going to be the entire content of this video. We're just going to be chucking gear on people, I think. And then, we're not using Boa, but we are using Enel. I wonder if he's wearing gear. The simple answer is, he's got two pieces and that's it. So, why not chuck a bit of extra gear on him? I think I'm out of the purples. Yeah, I'm using all the purples. Alright, we'll start throwing the 3% ones on. I could just forge a bunch, but, you know, that could be an idea. Also, we can... Oh, no, you know what? No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, cool. I mean, we'll, we'll throw some gear on Buggy since we are using him. And I think we said we're using Kid. Was it still? 
No, we're using Eva now, so we're fine. All right, you know what? That's that's something. We've gained a little bit of power, and I'll take it. The, the idea was to add a bit of power to this team. We I think we also said we're going to be taking Kit out, and we're going to be adding Eva here, won't we? So there we go. Make sure that saves. And our team should now do a little bit more damage, I think. I mean, the difference between non-geared and geared is going to naturally make a fair bit of a difference. Um, what we can do is we can actually compare the numbers. I've not done too much of a change, as you guys saw. We just sort of went in and out a couple of times and had a gander. Uh, cool. That's team one gone. <laughs> I mean, team two is a bit stronger now. Since Edel now actually has a weapon, which is a huge win. Oh, I didn't even check Zora's gear. Damn. I don't think Zora's wearing any gear. That's fine. I'm hoping with a bit of gear, Katakuri does more than 25 million this time. Uh, that would be the aim, right? Just get more than 25 million done for Katakuri. Uh, Kuma's an amazing tank because he's also going to be self-healing. I've got Law healing the team as well. Uh, Katakuri hopefully doing a ton of damage. And now let's have a look at the team damages. So, 67 million. We've done a little bit less uh, on the first team. Second team, I think he did 22 million last time, but that's okay. Third team, there was a bit of a buff there. And you know what? Eva did quite a bit of damage as well. I think that's, I think that worked out kind of all right. Um, in terms of progress, again, we are going to be able to just do that. And we can now start claiming some of the earlier boxes. We have bought the deluxe pack, no. Uh, and there is a fog shop. So let's see what the fog shop actually contains. Um, nothing super amazing. You need to spend another 5,000 to be able to get some of this. Ooh, hello. Scarlet Jades are available in this. That's nice. Okay, so I like the idea of Scarlet Jades. I like the idea of Marine Emperor Hockey Stones. They are a bit expensive, but it is what it is. Um, we would need to buy some of the earlier stuff first to be able to then unlock into some of the later stuff but hey that's all good and then there's packs as well so you can get 800 for a thousand that's that's all right you know i'm i'm not completely against that that's actually a decent looking event i'm not sure if they've added anything else they may have but let's do the halloween stuff let's just jump straight into halloween um because daily sign in and Halloween Vault. So, guys, what I did do yesterday was um, I did get a bunch of keys. We're up to 47 keys. I need to go do my dailies today. We are going to be up a fair bit more. But I didn't want to draw them until I had you guys on, you know, on, on chat. So, let's do an auto draw. Yep, I'm super happy for that. Uh, and I will confirm. Oh, actually, can cancel. So, you can see we have opened everything. Uh, where is the... Wait, did we not get the wood? Okay. For some reason, there's no wood there. Uh, oh, right. We have to pick rewards. So, for the second set of rewards, you can sort of... You have to sort of click. It's really weird. You have to click like this to try and find the slot to be able to see what's inside them. Nah, you know what? That's not even that good. That's not even that good. That's not even that good. Right. We're going to do one of those. And, oh, I love Holy Crystals. Let's do those. And then, should we do that? Just for more summons? Because I really don't care about the other stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. And then we'll auto-summon. We did get 50. That's cool. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more of the dial stuff. And, yeah, I mean, we'll start pushing through. Next time, we're going to be able to open some more bits. And I'll make sure to stream every element. Every time we open it, I'll make sure to try and stream some of the bits. Uh, I know a lot of you are annoyed that I'm not doing the Scrambler event, but I'm sorry, man. I, I just don't want to be dropping that sort of money on it. Not at the moment. Um, cool. We have some bits to do here in the sense that make sure you're always doing, at the very minimum, your 10 arena tries and your friend things because it's very, very, very important uh, that you be able to at least try and draw because some of those event items are actually really good. Outside of the just getting the Kaido, which I think is really cool, uh, you can get the skin, which is brilliant. You can also get the dials, which I think is for a newish player or a player that's like free to play, doesn't have access to dials. It's actually a really, really lucky draw to be able to pull that. I know people are going to get excited every time they pull Kaido, 
But the truth is, Kaido is not that OP. Uh, well, he is. He's the meta. He is like a meta unit. But in comparison, if I was you guys, I'd be more excited at drawing the red dial bespoke. That is so so much like value there. Um, and then in terms of limited, we'll do the free one. Of course we will. We'll leave the nine because we want to. And then I said we're going to be trying to go down to pity. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to actually go down to pity. We're going to leave it at one. So in the next few days, we should be done with that. And then in three days, we'll have a new lucky wish recruit. Hopefully it'll be something absolutely fantastic. Boys, I'm not going to let this video like go on for too long. This isn't a, hey, we're going to do all our dailies on a single video. It was very much a, let's go and have a look at the new event and roll some, you know, halloween -y bits. But the new Fog event looks kind of cool. And right now I have the highest merit on my, on my server or whatever this is. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to unlock more and more of these as we go through. Um, so by beating Jinbei, we are going to get more rewards. And as we go down, Gion is there, Luffy is there, Sanji is there. And look at this, the way Sanji looks. We, it does look like there is a cool Sanji on the way. Um, and then whoever gets the highest rank is actually going to get legendary gear. <laughs> that's mad all right so whoever has the highest merit is going to get a bunch of legendary gear and stuff there is quite a lot here but boys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all at 5 30 on the stream peace